let's look at um, types of fractions here we have these uh, three fractions here 1 over 5 2 over 5 and 3 over 5 so what we see here is that the denominator is same for all of these fractions now let's look at some more fractions uh, 2 over 5 and 3 over 7 what we see here is that the denominator is different so what happens when the denominator is same it is easy to compare if you look at the first line and you look at 2 over 5 and 3 over 5 you know that 3 over 5 is bigger than 2 over 5 because if I make 5 parts of something and if I pick up 3 it would be more than picking up 2 parts whereas um, on the second row where I have 2 over 5 and 3 over 7 it's not easy to tell which one is bigger that means if I cut an apple in 5 equal parts and eat 2 would that be more or if I cut that in 7 equal parts and eat 3 that would be more so what we call these fractions uh, as are um, like fractions and unlike fractions so where the denominator is same those are called as like fractions and where the denominator is not same those are unlike fractions now there are some more types other than these types now let's look at more fractions now we see this picture and in this uh, circle say let's call it a pizza so um, you see a quarter of pizza is highlighted here so how can we represent that using a fraction this is 1 over 4 now if I eat two parts of the pizza it would be called as 2 over 4 and if I eat 3 quarters it would be 3 over 4 and if I eat the whole thing you know if I eat all of it it would be called 4 over 4 or the whole pizza now what happens if I eat more than one that means it looks like this that means I eat one full pizza and from the second one I eat quarter of it so I would say that it is 4 over 4 and 1 over 4 so actually if I add those two I ate 5 over 4 so now when you are looking at these fractions what we see is that in the first three example the fraction represents something that is less than the whole so these fractions are called as proper fractions whereas 4 over 4 and 5 over 4 is something which is either equal or greater than the whole or we can say greater than 1 so these are called as improper fractions so proper fractions are those where as you see numerator is less than the denominator and improper fractions are those where numerator is either equal or greater than the denominator now let's look at the uh, last part where um, we have uh, taken the first pizza the whole one and from the second pizza we have taken a quarter of it so let's look at it again we know this is called as improper fraction but can I also write it like this one and a quarter so rather than writing one as four over four I can just write it as one the whole so if I write that as one and a quarter as one and one over four it is called as a mixed number so mixed numbers are combination of whole numbers and proper fractions so either you can write this um, as an improper fraction or the same thing can be represented as a mixed number as well let's look at some more examples see if I have a banana and I eat half of it if I eat half a banana I would 
write it like this 1 over 2 and it would be a proper fraction but if I'm more hungry you know I eat really one and half banana I can represent it like this one and half so it would be a mixed number but I can also represent the same thing which is one and half as one one I can write as two over two uh, and half is one over two I can add these two and that becomes three over two that is an improper fraction so this is what we have learned we have learned various types the first types were like and unlike based on the same or different denominator and then we looked at proper and improper fraction and we saw that we could also write the improper fraction using a mixed number.